Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Engineering Textbook. So our today's topic of discussion is 4x2 direction control valve. So here 4 indicates the number of ports and 2 indicates the number of positions. Here is a symbol of 4x2 direction control ball which consists of 2 boxes. The boxes means 2 positions and 4 ports. Port P, Port E, Port A and Port B. Port P consists of a pressure port. Port E is exhaust port and port A and B is the work port. So as this valve consists of 4 ports and 2 positions, so it is known as 4x2 direction control valve. Now let's see its operating conditions. So here is the figure of 4x2 direction control valve. It consists of a cylinder and piston arrangement. It is also known as spool, a spring and four ports, port A, P, B, E with its push button. So, this condition is normal condition. One more thing, the wall does not have a neutral condition that is the wall, the uh, ports in the wall is not closed in this condition. So, the piston is in rest condition and the spring is unsprung. Port A is connected to port P and port B is connected to port E. So, pressurized oil from the pump will transfer to the port P through port A to the actuator. And the retained oil or used oil from port B will transfer to port A towards the oil reservoir. So this was the first condition. Now let's see what happened when we press the push button. So if you press the push button, the piston or the spools will move from right to left and it compresses the spring. So what happens is port A is now connected to port E that is exhaust port. Port work port A is connected to exhaust port and pressure port is connected to work port B. So if we press the push button port A and E get connected and port P and B get connected. So, as we have seen two conditions, when port A and P are connected and in second condition, port A and E are connected. So, in this 2 by 4 by 2 direction control wall, there is no as such positions when the both the walls or four of the walls remain closed. It operates simultaneously. It is not in rest position at all. So this was about 4x2 direction control ball. Here as seen in symbol, port A is connected to port P and B is connected to port E. So it is represented as position 1 in this symbol. Port P is connected to port A and B is connected to port E. This was the common symbol of 4 by 2 direction control ball. In next condition what we have seen is if we press the push button. So port A get connected towards E. Port A get connected towards E. And port P get connected towards B. Port P get connected towards B. So this was the two conditions of the direction control ball. You must have observed that both the ports are connected to simultaneously ports. But there is no as the ports are blocked or anything. So in this wall, 
the ports are not blocked ever they are connected to respective ports only so now let's see 4 by 3 direction control valve as we have seen 4 by 2 there are two spools or two pistons in 4 by 3 there are three spools with four ports port a port p port b and port e so there are four ports and three spools or three positions so it is known as 4 by 3 valve so now you are seeing in the picture this is a neutral position that is port A and port B are blocked by these spools. So port P is not connected to any port and port E is not connected to any port. So this condition is neutral position that is normally closed position. The wall is not operating at all. As we press the push button, this pool or piston transfer from right to left and port A get connected to port P and port B get connected to port E after pressing the push button. So now the pressurized oil from port P is transferring to port A and the exhaust oil from port B is transferring to port E. So this was the first condition. Now in second condition as we release the push button the port A will be connected towards port E and port P is connected towards port B. So as we are releasing the push button the simultaneous ports are connected. The only difference in 4x2 and 4x3 direction control wall is this wall has the closed position that the spool, the two spool blocks the port A and port B so that there is no flow of oil. But in 4x2 direction control wall, there is no as such blockage of the ports. They are always connected to each other. So this was about the 4x3 direction control valve. So here is the symbolic rep representation of it. Now in this figure we have seen that port A is connected to port B. So port A is connected to port P and port B is connected to port E. So in symbol first position represent this condition. Port P is connected to port A. Port P is connected to port A and port E is connected to port B. Port E is connected to port B. In second condition, we see that port P is connected to port B and A is connected to E. Means the pressure port is connected to another work port and the initial work port is connected to exhaust port. So this condition is represented by second position of this symbol and the last condition that is port A and port B is blocked by this pool so this condition is represented by the third position port A, B, P and E are blocked they are not connected with any other port so that's all for today in our next video we will see List of direction control valve overall we have studied in 4 to, 3, 4 to 5 videos and the next video will be on trick to read the direction control wall easily. Thank you.